Hey everybody, I'm doing another bit of, uh, video on Battle Sisters now, Sisters of Battle, about Battle Sisters, sorry about that. Battle Sisters are your core troop choice, and really, in my opinion, your only troop choice that, that you should focus on. Um, the problem with Battle Sisters in the current edition is the price, I will agree with that use conversions that's what you got to do use conversions <clears throat> if you can i don't know get some plastic space marine models and and call them sisters i don't care the point is use max squads the real strength of the battle sisters is that they come in squads of 20. you can't ignore this um because you're talking about 23 plus saves you throw in one of the ecclesiarchal priests priestesses that i've mentioned in my other video and suddenly they all basically become zealots with hatred and um well anyways that's what you got to do it's the 20 foot remember what i said sisters are a static defense army they're not meant to go marching across the table they're meant for you to take uh, fortifications, sit in them, hold them, send your seraphim across the table, send your retributors and immolators across the table, but you sit back and hold your deployment zone, your table corners, or if you're playing with objectives, place them in your areas so that you can quickly hold them. That's the key point. It's really tough to kill 20 people with three plus saves. It really is. Um, their act of faith, light of the emperor, which can be used in either your shooting phase or the other player's assault phase. In fact, it can just be freaking used all the time is what I'm going to say. And if it's successful, you gain preferred enemy. These are the types of things that I'm talking about. Acts of faith are for the coup de grace, for that final strike when somebody's running away or something like that. Before that, you're using your war hymns. Use your war hymns to adapt your battle sisters to the situation. Use your act of faith, preferably twice a turn, because you're going to give your priests simulacrum imperialis to, to just mm, put the, the final nail in the coffin. Yeah, it's real, it's really tough to charge them. I mean, when you think about it, 20 Battle Sisters, that's 20 Strength 4 shots, and you can snap fire them, or you're going to give them a flamer. I remember before I always mentioned the uh, Holy Trinity, there, so there should be a melt -a gun and a flamer in that squad, too, to really make them hard. I mean, you can imagine a single Bastion with one full troop choice. Of battle sisters so that's a bastion with 20 battle sisters sitting inside shooting it out you upgrade it you give it the heavy bolters on the bastion they're firing that too it's really hard to get them out the key point is the full squads most people don't use the full squads because how are you going to get the 20 battle sisters but in in one and i admit it i used proxies i used uh, dark eldar plastics as proxies but i played with just a full troop choice of battle sisters i had a fortress of redemption and um four full battle squads of battle sisters so that's 60 battle sisters Lining the walls, lining the sides, inside, up top, on the bottom, everywhere around it. It's really hard to get through those guys. It really, really is. Uh, if you're going to play sisters, then you got to invest the time and money to make a proper army list. And the key strength of the sisters is that basically you're going to have your standard troop choice with a plus one ballistic skill because instead of being 3-3, three, three, they're 3-4 three, with the three plus armor save and a six plus invulnerable save. They're really hard to kill when you consider it that way. So you gotta play them right. 
it's 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 for a certain style of play, and that play is static defense. Uh, your seraphim and your retributors are your quick reaction force. If you get into problems with hand to hand, if people are deep striking near you to try to hit your battle sisters, that's what the retributors and penitent engines are for, which I will deal with in another video. For you, again, you don't run your retributors and penitent engines across the table. They stay back and wait if somebody assaults your battle sisters. Then they don't have to run because they're already near you. They come in and remove the melee units that have already come to you. These are just my insights. I hope you like them. Um, I'm going to do more videos on the Battle Sisters because I hope that more people start playing them. And I will see you next time. Hope you enjoy.